Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to my first official fight in the UFC. Your boy is finally going to be in the octagon. We going to be at the MGM Grand. But check it out, man. I want to show you guys some stats. This is not an attribute update. It's more so just showing you guys where I stand with my fighter. He is a striker. He is a boxer. This is a man to be feared in the octagon. Now, it's early on in my career, so since this is my first fight, expect a body okay don't expect me to get knocked down don't expect me to get you know a little saucy in my ways just expect me to go out here and get a body because my striking is a1 my striking is on par with mike tyson john jones anderson silver right now that's all i'm saying coming up next it's a ufc middleweight matchup Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here. It is finally time. David the King Carter is on his way to the octagon. Looking good in that tropical red right now. <laughs> hey, man. All I can say is I'm ecstatic right now, man. I'm really happy that my fighter is able to come into the UFC undefeated at the moment in the tournament. But this fight is what counts. I cannot get knocked out. I cannot get submitted. I cannot let it go to decision. I got to knock this dude out on his earth. Now, you see they guys, they say I got knockout power. I got a boxing background. So, you already know what that means, man. Check me out. Coming into the octagon, ready for business. I'm ready, man. I'm hungry right now. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing flashy for your boy. I'm hungry out here. Now, uh, I'm fighting some dude named Frantic. He, listen, he got a one inch reach, but he 10 pounds lighter than your boy. So you know what that means. You know what I'm saying? My punches pack more of a punch. You feel me? Now we got Bruce Buffer in here, man, trying to go ahead and be like, oh my God, I'm hot. Nah, I'm just playing. But uh, he just announcing that it's all about the Ultimate Fighter Tournament. Now, fighting out of the red corner, we got David Carter. You know what I'm saying? Zero, zero, and zero. I'm trying to make that like 30, zero, and zero before my career is over. We'll see. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I got to get my ground game up. Probably going to get my clinch game up. Of course, you guys know how I love those knees. That's my that's my cheese way of fighting. Um, Yamasaki is always putting up the heart, man. He always trying to show love to your boy. But I'm going to go ahead and bump it out with this dude. You know what I'm saying? I have nothing to hold back. Now, I see that he threw like a little feint with the kick. That was pretty dope right there. Now, I'm not going to block much in this fight, but you best believe your boy is going to punch. Now, he's trying to shoot for takedowns and getting hit. I felt like he should have been knocked out. Now, if I would have got the knockdown, I would have went for the KO. But since it didn't happen, I'm just going to embarrass this dude, man. I'm going to get you guys like a 14-second knockout soon enough, man. Maybe 15, maybe 10. You never know. But for the moment, this dude is getting bodied. You know what I'm saying? Head damage on crazy right now. But I'm trying to figure out why he's not going down. Now, I will say that some of my shots have been hitting him without that much stamina. But him shooting for these weird takedowns are crazy. He's going to get caught by one of these uppercuts. You best believe me. I'm going to just set him up, though. You know what I'm saying? One, two, one, two. Remember when I said in my last video, man, I live and die by the one, two. You know what I'm saying? I respect it. I respect the art. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying these kicks out, seeing what they do. These kicks really ain't doing much. His head not even snapping from the kicks. So, I know it's all about my hands. So, you got to come back, set him up, get him ready with the one, two. Get him ready. And you already know. You already know what's about to happen to this dude. Let's go. That uppercut, though. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and take that top mount right there. And it's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. It's all over. The ref stopped it a little bit too late. I think I killed him by blunt force trauma. Look at that BJ Penn right there. Ah, what you know about licking the blood of your enemies? Now, ain't I'm, 
I, I think I'm I'm the one that ain't scared of AIDS. Oh shit, I'm I'm licking grown ass men blood. I don't know what he doing in his personal life. I don't know if he like putting it in the booty hole. I'm out here licking his blood. Oh my god, I need to go get tested. God damn. I think it might be time to change my personality, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep licking people gloves and survive in the UFC. I'm just saying. Hey, I don't think I'm going to survive, man. But uh, I hope you guys like that knockout. That's what I do, man. I'm a knockout artist, baby. That's what I get into. One, two, one, two. You know what I'm saying? Look, Mario was like, look, man, he can't take it no more. I don't, and I'm not even happy. You know what I'm saying? Look how nonchalant I am. But hold up, though. The turn up about to happen. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that nonchalant personality right there. Yeah, I'm going I'm to go ahead and change that BJ Penn, man. I ain't happy enough. But let's turn up with some of that panda, though. You know what I'm saying? This is your boy, IKC, signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share. And if you're new to my channel, you just got here, you better hit that subscribe button, man. Hey, what up, Connor? You know what I'm saying? One day, you know, maybe I'll drop down and wait, you know what I'm saying, become an anorexic chick. And maybe, you know, fight Conor McGregor for his belt. You never know. <laughs> but your boy won the tough tournament, man. Now it's on to the UFC. I got more episodes coming, more episodes coming, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace. Some dudes win, a few dudes lose. Nobody want to be a fan anymore. Niggas get too cool. Get it? Jump in the books like the Blues Clues do. Can't pay my bills with all these YouTube views. I'm trying to make a difference. Niggas savage like there ain't no jail. You killed her son, she know who did it. Think she ain't going to tell? And that's murder, so there ain't no bail. So you stuck until court. You might as well just decorate your cell. And your family broke. That's why you send the remember.